All right, let's do one more. I'm gonna do the famous black cat. I saw a ton of these things and I don't ever really paint it on the spot in Jackson Square. I'm gonna do it, give you, an, uh, you guys an idea of actually the process it takes to uh, produce one of these cats. Let's get this thing going. Start with the moon first. I'm gonna do a... This is what I use to make my stars wet. I think it's a wrench, some kind of wrench. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Switch boards like we did previously. Now, there we go. Now, this is one that I did yesterday, and I'm only using it to uh, <laughs> speed up time. You know, I don't want to keep you guys all night. I'm about to go watch TV myself. All right, this is the cat here. In fact, I want to do the ledge first. There's a ledge that sits right here that this cat sits on top of, so I'm going to do the ledge now. Get that out of the way. Okay. Let me just... Very light. Instead of using gray, I'm gonna use Kona Brown for this ledge. When it's finished, you'll, you'll see why. Some would usually assume I would use a black to make gray, but not for this particular uh, situation. Because the cat's gonna be black, so you don't wanna use black on top of black. So brown, it's a really good way of using uh, a separate color. It's gonna be another another lamp, very lightly. All right, let's fill this cat in. Now, to do this part, when you put the stencil down, you gotta just let it let it float. Don't actually let it sit on top of this paint because it's still wet. But if you look. It's not damaged, so you gotta just let it sit. There we go. Now when I spray, I spray this way, so I don't get no overspray to go under. Plus I have the weight, I mean, I'm sorry, I have this, uh, the wet yellow under there. Here's some. Some voodoo magic, baby. I'm gonna spray a little yellow right here. A little more yellow than I thought. Now this cat's facing, facing the city, so it's, this is not the front. I'm gonna correct that mistake. Uh, there we go. Now watch this. This is how you fix a mistake classic style. Watch that. It's a slight miscalculation. One that I can't fix. Thank you. 
Promised land, baby. Let me give. We're gonna finish this cat off with a yellow trim. We call it rim lighting. And rim lighting is basically when the light is on the opposite side coming towards the camera. So you get what's called a, a rim lighting. People call it outlining or highlighting, but I call it real rim lighting. According to photography, that's that's you know I've had photographers call what I'm about to do is called rim lighting. I am listening to Metallica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Frantic. Stay back. If you get back on track. <laughs> Keep on turning. To go, I go. All right. Get day back. I don't use a swivel table because of, uh, I'm not using cardboard. So I don't necessarily need a swivel table to spin this piece around. But most people who perform, you'll see them use a swivel table to uh, spin it around because you have an audience watching you. But since I don't really perform for an audience, I don't necessarily have that issue. Tick, 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 tock. Tick, 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 tock. Tick, 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 tock, friend. Tick, 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 tick. Mm, 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 There you go. Look. Huh? This is my friend. What's up, boy? This is what I do for a living. This looks nice. That's yeah, awesome. stankin' ass cat. Yeah. Rico. I like that, huh? Yeah, that's nice. You ain't no calling no day to have talent, huh? I know. Nah. Oh, y'all know what I do for a living? I knew. Yeah, the whole neighborhood know. There you go. Yeah, shooting a video for Facebook. Oh. Oh, y'all. 17. That's it. That's tight. Yeah, that's tight. I like the one. Tighten the right light. <laughs> I like the one that you had inside too.